recall that somewhere beneath the disaster is something bed like. <laughs> let's see what we got here to look at. Cloak, desk, laundry. Yeah, let's examine the dirty laundry. Dirty laundry. Uh oh. I didn't even know the other class had ended. I guess you probably have to stick around until it clears out. That would be really weird if it, it was pseudo real time, so you just have to sit there and just read the droning on and on and on <laughs> for 25 minutes or so. Right. Game time, of course, still, but. I'm kind of wondering if um, you can actually get kicked out by not attending the classes. That'd be interesting. Old handouts. <laughs> that's, like, that's, pretty, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's got some pithy uh, comments on student life. Yeah. Well, you know, the funny thing is, is when this game came out, if I were to play it back then, I would have been like completely bored because I wouldn't have gotten half the humor. Right. And, uh, you got a different perspective now that you're older. Yeah. Yeah. Note is filled with stars and scribbles and squiggles and doodles and a few drafts of a poem about Lola. So Lola is the girl that um, his old girlfriend from where he lived. Hmm. And then we went off to wizarding school. Uh, I don't think there's anything. Oh, there's a chess set. I wonder if I can get the chess set. You always need a chess set when you're in college. Whoops. Cloak, desk, dirty laundry, empty can, salmon can. It once contained food or a drink or some soap powder. It's hard to tell. Nope. I don't think I'll be able to pick up anything. At least in games like this, there was no inventory limitation like, oh, I don't know, say Resident Evil or something to that effect, you know. Yeah, so far I'm holding a lot. Almost to the detriment. You, it's like you have that scroll list and it's almost too long. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else I can do here. The exit. These guys still playing. Uh, I forget where we came from. Uh, you you went west, I thought. West. I mean, let's see here. Well, I can uh, call up the map here, but it doesn't. Uh. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily do help. Yeah. Oh, you can click on it. Interesting. There we go. Yeah, you can you can click on the map and it'll take that's you there. Cool. That's uh, yeah, that's a really nice uh, feature. So so it looks like there's like a ladder down, like into a basement or dungeon or something. Oh yeah, you're right. <clears throat> yeah, it shows you a little cutaway. That's uh of something that's underneath the uh, university. I bet that's where the trap door is. Yeah, because yeah, that's where we are, because that's where we are, yeah. You are here. A newly developed spice to make celery dip? <laughs> that's kind of nasty. I don't even know what... Um, I don't even know what class... Oops. I don't even know what class is going on. Ethics. Ah, Ethics 101. Who cares about that one? <laughs> so I'm thinking you got to sit around here and and listen to all this tripe until everyone leaves and then you can open the trap door. Mm -hmm. You see a hand in the back, the person in the yellow cape with the purple polka dots. The guy should definitely save the girl. No, no, a hundred times no. You have to be true to the king. Who are we to judge the true importance of the king's celery dip in the scheme of things? Very philosophical. Vying for the hand of the same main. Tall fellow in the metallic green bathing trunks. Let's see what happens. That's a good answer. Nope. Wrong. Oh my gosh. 
This is as droning as a real lecture. <laughs> Not all that exciting. Oh, that's it. Yay. Yeah, I guess you can just wait, wait, wait a few times and then uh -oh, right. role playing exercises. Let me just quickly look before school starts, uh, for the next class starts. Oh, hasn't, oh, it's still going on. Sorry, I thought class had ended. I'm going to have a guest lecture. Don, Don Weeping Hippo, <laughs> founder of Weeping Hippo Industries. There we go. Yeah. Now it's empty. Don't. Way too heavy to lift. <laughs> All that, and you gotta wait. So probably we're gonna have to um, acquire some strength potion or something. Right. These. Uh, let's look around. Actually, I can click. Let me just click on the map. It's a little. So I'm here. This was the simulation lab. Interesting. Bare room, single chair, bolted to the center of the room. That, that sounds kind of scary. Yeah. A time warm simulation chair. So, guess what I got to do? Sit in chair. Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Whoa. Interesting. Disembodied mechanical voice reverberates through the chamber. Student Eagle Beak Ernie, freshman class. Blah, blah, blah. Sounds Begin. like the sorting hat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Gryffindor. Begin auto installation of the simulation spells. Three, two, one. Okay, let's see what's going on. This is the magical equivalent of virtual reality, I guess. Guess I'm going to be climbing that tree. Climb tree. Ouch. Opens a few veins. That's not good. <laughs> I guess I didn't uh, perform well in that simulation. Your grade is zero. That's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Hit the books. Easel Brook. That's not my name. Hmm. Oh, Marty in the chair. I guess I blew it. Probably have to come in and try that again at some point in time. North. Professor Ticking Clock's office. Uh, well, curios aren't showing up on the list you can interact with. No, there's shells. Journals and ancient tomes. Darn. You'd think the ancient tome might have a, a spell to make you strong or something. Yeah, exactly. There's nothing there. I don't know. Nope. If it's not on the list, it doesn't exist. Right. Uh, nothing in here. Oh, examine desk. Maybe he's got something on his desk. Nope. Open. Ugh. Open desk. Don't. Chair, cigarette pack. Nothing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Books. Exam. Ex That's funny. Oh, yeah. Same thing. It's the same thing as looking at the shell. Look. We've got south and southwest. Oh. Like is there nope, the desk isn't even something to melting hmm. wolf hall back here again